I'll do so. I say because okay. I have not done a single presentation yet. Okay. I, I feel like I do not. <laughs> okay. I'll be back. Whenever now. you're ready. All right. Okay. Three, two, one. Hello there. Uh, my name is Kai Caricello, and I'm developing uh, graphene composite materials. And in order to do such experiments with materials, uh, we need to have a reliable source of graphene. Um, I have been focusing on the electrolysis method to create uh, large amounts of few layer graphene. Um, and this is my first experiment and my first video I've ever been in, so I, I think I'm doing fairly well, I Great. hope. Um, essentially what we have here is a bath of sodium sulfate dissolved into a tub of water, uh, a 0.5 molar mass. Um, after that, what I've done is I've hooked it up to this DC power supply, ran it at 2 volts, and I'll let the sodium sulfate get into the graphite structure. Um, after a few minutes, I increase the voltage to 10 volts, and um, now we can see that the graphene is exfoliating into the uh, mixture of water and sodium sulfate. After this process is complete, it will be complete once there is no more reaction and the electrolyte has been used up. Um, I will be transferring this, uh, this mixture here into the sonication bath to further uh, essentially grind down the graphene into a few layer, even monolayer graphene. And uh, this has a whole wide range of applications, such as a safe conductive ink to practice uh, circuit boards with. In fact, I really want to give uh, elementary school students this so that they can perhaps be inspired and practice some sort of uh, base electronic uh, circuits and such. Um, this will be added to polyethylene, which will increase the strength of the polyethylene um, to that on par with steel. And um, I'm also considering uh, making a 3D printable plastic reinforced with graphene, which will make any 3D printed object a lot stronger than it actually is. Wow. And let's get one final shot of what's going on, because that seems like it's going pretty good now. The voltages and the average is really derping up right now. Yeah. Also note that this is not dissolving the graphite. It's in fact just essentially breaking it apart. So it still exists, just in a different form. Yes, it, it should be, if um, we added more graphene to it, it would increase the volume because it's not dissolving, it's right. just uh, exfoliating, which essentially means that it's breaking apart on a very small scale. That is awesome. Can we get rid of these springs?